So that is a steering column bearing, which I did not know existed. So for everybody out there, all you need is a 40 ton press, hammer, a porta band, handy dandy propane torch, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can get the steering column bearing out of your F1 or F100 steering column yourself. All right, so I'm gonna grab that piece of stainless tubing and we're gonna to get to work on steering column. And uh, yeah, get rid of some of this white. All right, so I already pulled the steering wheel off. You guys saw it sitting on the seat. So this is essentially just sitting on here. So what I need to do is just get a quick measurement of this. The biggest thing is to get this there's like a, this little piece, this wedge piece that sits in the steering column that holds the steering shaft centered in the column. So what I need to do is try to remove this piece in here. I'm gonna remove this bell, try to remove this piece of material metal in here so this little wedge piece can fit back down inside the new steering column. So we're gonna, that's what we're gonna work on. All right, so like I had said, I bought a piece of 304 polished stainless tubing. Just give it a quick layer of tape just to protect it. So a F100 steering column is an inch and a half outer diameter. And that's the exact same diameter as this piece of tubing. I got this on eBay. It was about 50 bucks after the shipping. So if you just do a search for an inch and a half stainless tubing, it comes up, give you all different di different diameters. I'm not sure what the diameter differences sizes were, but they give you a whole bunch of different diameters. You pick what you want, you pick the length. I got a three foot piece, that's all I needed. So I'll have a couple, couple inches left over. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna set that aside and I'm gonna get this bell removed. And I believe there's just a couple of small spot welds. I'm gonna get this bell removed and try to expose the area, that little ring inside there. Can you see that little ring inside there? It looks white, because it is, it has some paint on it. That's what I need to remove outside of the tube. But first, like I said, I gotta get this bell off. So let's do that. Grab a hammer. Try with a hammer first. That should be everybody's first first resort. Is hammer. It's not doing anything. I guess if I take this, you know what, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm trying to keep the dust down lately because everything's out and exposed. Plus I have my 30 coupe up on the lift. I picked this up used on Marketplace. It's $50. I've been trying to use this as much as possible lately. If you squeeze it too hard on the vise, it won't work. So that's the piece in here that I need. But I don't know how to get it out of there yet. So let's figure that out. So I got this little weight from a scale. If by any chance it's just pressed in there. So I'm gonna just try to tap on it lightly. People always ask me, how do you know how to do this stuff? Where did you learn how to do this stuff? 
I didn't. No different than anybody else. No one, no different than anyone else that watches YouTube. Because I watch YouTube. Sometimes I go on YouTube to figure out how to do this stuff. It's not always, like, there's no way to know how to do this, some of this stuff. You just fly by the seat of your pants. Just figure it out. All right, so that's turning. Uh, okay. So there's bearings in there. So that's a bearing. That's interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. But I did not know that. So there's another lip around it that is the the race for the bearing the outer race so that means i need to cut i think i need to cut this down i need to get the bell off of this tube and then cut the outer wall of the tube itself unless that bearing will move let's see if I can find something a little bit bigger like I said I don't want to damage it right back all right so so that's a bearing that's inside that tube so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the top of the column on that so what my brains telling me is that bearing is just pressed or slip fit into this tube so I found this piece of metal that came with my press when I got my press and it fits in there pretty damn tight it does have a, a cut taken out of it but it should be fine so it fits in there so it's touching the outer portion of that race so what I'm hoping is let me grab some lubricant so hopefully this will help people in the future. If you want to switch out your F1 or F100 steering column to a piece of stainless, this might be what you need to do. All right, so I just sprayed some lubricant in there. I'm going to see if I can pound this bearing out. May end up having to add a little bit of heat to it too and give it a little more. Look like it moved a little bit. It definitely moved. Make sure I check it each time so it still makes sure it still spins. All right, it's coming out. Maybe I should do this over at the press. Let's go to the press. Same process, less violence. didn't go as planned and I'll show you why the whole tube pressed right out of the end of the bush the uh, cup that's all right because the bearings just about out all right let me get something a little bit taller a little bit taller wish I was a baller if I had a girl with a kid I would call her the rabbit with a hat with a bat and six forward parlor I know all the songs. All right, what is that? So that's the post. Came right out of that. Now, I need to get the bearing out of this tube. And I could probably just cut it. Probably what's gonna happen. Yeah. Plan C. Back at the porta band.
split. So that should pop right out now. Should. <laughs> should pop right out. There we go. So that is a steering column bearing, which I did not know existed. Now that we do know. So for everybody out there, all you need is a 40 ton press, hammer, a porta band, handy dandy propane torch, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can get the steering column bearing out of your F1 or F100 steering column yourself. It doesn't sound the greatest. I'm just gonna clean this out real quick. Probably give it some new grease. Boy, that bearing can take a beating, I'll tell you that much. I wonder if they sell these. I've never looked, because I didn't know they existed. But they might sell them. All right, that sounds a lot better. Does it? <laughs> it really doesn't sound better. It actually sounds worse. <laughs> how do you know how to do this stuff, Mike? Eh. Just winging it. That's what we all do. Well, maybe not everybody. All right, so that's what the end of the column looks like. That's poopy. That goes in the trash. Next is to... Oh shit, I cut the column before I measured it. So the first thing you wanna do before you do anything is to measure the steering column after you pull it out of the car. If you don't, you have to pull the part out of the trash that you just threw in the trash. All right, grab a tape measure. Tape measure, Sharpie. Snowing out. Ooh. 34 inches 34 just like the year of my car that this went into so 34 inches is what you need if you're not cutting it down and save it don't throw this into the trash you might need it for something who knows you might build a race car and you might want that column in your race car or you can sell it for a lot of money on eBay and retire at a young age. Sounds like a good plan, huh? Maybe I should do that. So this is a little cup and there's a spring that goes on top of this cup, but this cup fits right inside that bearing. So it's a carrier bearing. It's essentially what it is. So when you turn the steering column, the bearing is supposed to bearing. So in the process of the company making this column, when they cut them, the ends kind of roll in a little bit. They kind of shrink. So I'm going to need to cut the tube at both ends. Because if I don't, I won't be able to get the bearing in on one end. And I won't get it to slide over the steering box on the other end. So I'm going to have to cut a little figure 34 inches somewhere in the middle. Cut the end, push in the bearing, cut this end. And what you need to do on the other end for the steering column, at the bottom of the steering column, is cut a slice. So what that slice does is it allows it to collapse on itself because the steering column, the, inner, the outer diameter of the steering box where this mounts to with a clamp is a little bit smaller than the inner, the outer diameter is smaller than the inner diameter. And that allows the metal to close in and tighten when you tighten the clamp. See how that works? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another tool. I'm gonna cover this tape back up because I already know I have to cut both ends. I don't wanna mar the finish of my beautiful steering column. So I'm gonna cover it with tape like that. See how much you guys are learning? 
You didn't think you were gonna learn this much today, did you? Nope. So I'm gonna show you guys a really cool tool. A lot of guy, a lot of people know about this company. Uh, the company supports me. Uh, he's always takes care of me when I order products from him and show you guys what it is. So the company name is Trulers. I know I've showed videos me using his products in the past, but I'm gonna do a, another product placement for him. So the name of the company, Trulers. Trulers.com. So these are, he makes all different types, but these are adhesive uh, sticky back rulers. This is a magnetic ruler. You can see all the different types. Let me pull this out of here. I'm gonna use one of them. If you go on his website, trulers.com. Trulers.com. There's the info right there. Get on, I think his name's Jack. Get on his website. He also does pinstriping practice pads, 50 sheets, $12. How can you beat it? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, see, packets of just awesome product. A lot of uh, auto body guys use these for doing custom paint jobs, laying out panel paint jobs, things like that, like on the top of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I could use any of these to be honest with you. You know what, I already opened the package up, so let's just use this. So what I'm gonna do is, I already know I have to take off some material off of both ends. This is stainless, so it's not magnetic, but that's fine. I'm gonna just take this, this, mag, this, this magnetic ruler, and I'm gonna overlap it itself till it's back onto itself exactly. So, let me see. See how, see how it's off to the side of itself. If you go back over onto itself like so, you know you have a straight line. Assuming that his products are created straight, which I've done this several times in the past, cutting down torque tubes, drive shafts, things like that. It always works. What I'm gonna do is just make my mark. And now I have a nice even mark to cut. I'm gonna use the porta band. I'm gonna cut this side. I'm gonna cut that down. I'm gonna get the bearing pressed in. So then that's done. I actually gotta figure out the depth. So I need to go back into the trash barrel. So I'm gonna refer back to this piece here and figure out what the depth of the bearing was. I can see it in there. You can see the paint, the paint line. That's the depth. So I gotta figure out the depth of the bearing and I'll press the bearing into the polish, the stainless tubing, and then that will be all set. And then all I gotta do is cut my length at the bottom end, cut that little slot so it'll close in tight with the clamp once the clamp's on the steering box, and that's it. Pop it back in. Oh, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use for the bell. All right, so what I'm gonna use for the bell, show you the old one. So this bell that was on the column originally, this is an F100, I'll grab the steering wheel. So you can see on the steering wheel, this bell doesn't particularly look all that great. It's just too big. My buddy Joe, who's been building cars for years, found these at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's like a shower, a shower head bezel, but it's an inch and a half diameter to three inch diameter. The tube for the column is an inch and a half and the back of the horn ring is three inches. It fits perfectly, and they're only a couple dollars. So my next thing is I have to figure out how to attach this to the column so it doesn't slide down the column, but you'll see how it's gonna look. It should work out pretty good. So 40, about $40 for the tube for the column. The wheel itself, if you were to go with like a 55 style Mercury, 54 to 56, I believe, and then you need just a little bell. That's it. So what was happening is on the back of the steering wheel, it was rubbing this. So that's why I couldn't use this and I didn't want to damage the horn ring. 
All right, so I've grabbed the porta band. I'm gonna get this cut down real quick. And then I will get my length, cut my length, get my bearing pushed in, and then we'll be done. You know, a lot of things like this to do on the car because it's building a car from scratch, you know? There's always a lot to do. It's a nice clean cut. So what I need to do is get those deburrs. That would be really handy with. I don't have any of those. I gotta get some. All right, I'm back. My daughter stopped by, I was hanging out with my little girl. All right, so where I left off, I needed a deburring thing, but I just used a file. Just filed it down real quick. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. What I need to do now is I need to get this bushing pushed inside that tube. But first, I need to measure the depth it needs to go down into the tube. So what I'm gonna use is this. This little measuring thingamabobber. Pretty simple. Just gonna put it across the top. Measure down until I get to where the bearing was. Tighten it up and half an inch. So if a half an inch down from the top of the tube, pretty simple. So now what I need to do is just make sure it goes in flat. Make sure I put it in the right direction. It is. like that Woo. so technical all right so again there's my little press thing and I'm just gonna tap it in and then measure it till it's half an inch down Starting to go in. That's it. It goes in there like that. That spins. All right, next thing I need to do is remember, that's better. All right, 34 inches is what I need. I'm gonna spin it around. Grab my measuring, grab my truller. I don't need exact precision on this because there's definitely going to be some wiggle room. There's definitely going to be a little bit of wiggle room. So if I cut it, I'm sure just a little bit short, it's probably going to be fine um, because I'm going to end up putting this bell on this end like so. And this bell is about an inch and a half deep. So I'm sure being exactly specific isn't totally necessary. And we gotta figure out how to attach the bell. So I need a 34 inch total length. I cut an inch off of each end because I had a 36 inch piece of stainless tubing. I'm gonna grab a file. I'll get this file down real quick.
a nice little quick upgrade. So next what I need to do is I need to recreate this little slice in the steering column. Again, I'm gonna use my handy dandy measuring tool. Pretty simple. And push it down until it stops. Tighten the old girl up. Make sure I'm cutting the correct end, which is the end with no bearing. And then just transfer my marks. You don't have to clock the steering column tube, so you can just put it wherever you want. So let's get that cut real quick. Can I do it? I want to give it, I want to make it a little bit wider than the bandsaw blade, so I'm just going to use my cutoff wheel real quick and then just slice that up. Be done with it. All right, so I just went double the thickness of the blade, as you can see there, and that's it. For $40 for this, and like $3 for this, so for under $50, you're going to have a chrome steering column in your hot rod. And I believe any early Ford steering column is the same i think they're all i could be wrong and i know people will tell me i'm wrong but i think they're all inch and a half outer diameter or if not they're pretty close so who knows maybe you can do this with an earlier steering column as well and you too can have a chrome well i say chrome it's not chrome it's stainless you too can have a stainless. Come on, get off of this. Steering tube. Looks like chrome. And we all know chrome don't get you home, but it sure looks good when you're broken down on the side of the road. The things we do for men to impress other dudes. <laughs> As you know, there ain't a girl on the planet that gives two craps about a stainless steel steering column. Something to be said about it. That's all I'm saying. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's having a great new year, 2024. For me, it's starting off pretty good. It's been busy with work, which is great. Um, got to hang out with my mom this morning for a little while. I went out to breakfast, meet her and Allie. And uh, yeah, it's been good. So obviously I've been in the garage working my butt off because I gave myself a deadline to have this car ready for this uh, Northeast Auto Expo. And Allie's not all that thrilled about that. But what I did, I made a deal with her and said, let me spend the time I need to spend in the garage and then after I get back from the expo, we'll, I'll take it, I'll take it down a notch. So, so that's that. All right, so next thing I gotta do is I gotta figure out exactly not only where this needs to go on the length of the column, but how I'm gonna keep it in place because I don't want it to slide down. So what I think I'll probably end up doing is Probably just some silicone, some clear silicone inside it just to hold it. It's just sitting there. It's just for looks. Ooh, look at it. Du, 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 du. You're welcome. All right, let's go put it in the car and see when we'll get the steering wheel on there too. It's going to be fancy. You're going to love it. All right. Can you see? Whoa. <laughs> what is about to happen? All right, I'm gonna go grab that little bush in that goes in there. Damn! Damn! Now 
Now, like I said, there is a little spring. All right, there's a, it's, a, it's a spline shaft, but there's one fat spline. And it should slide on. Right at the top. Come on, close. Come on, let's go. I ain't got all day. Oh, well, it would have helped if I pushed it down all the way, right? That would have been a big help. There we go. That would have helped. There we go. All right, now. That looks down. It's like it's meant to be. Woo! Mighty fine, mighty fine. All the time. So, I'll slide that down a little bit. I don't want it to hit the back of the wheel. So, like I said, I'll have to get some silicone or something. M stands for Mike. Yeah, not Mercury. Mike. All right. Now, I do have a column drop. I'm going to put that on, but I got to get, I'm going to retape this up. I just want to make sure the length was going to be good. I think it looks fan amazing. Yes, it does. That's it. $50 steering column upgrade went from a crappy old paint job to shiny old chrome. Kind of stainless. But you don't need to tell people that. They can think you got the big bucks. You know, you got a big cushy corporate job, CEO. You can afford all that chrome. That's where it's at right there, boys. Check it out. Chrome steering column upgrade, 34 coupe, 50 bucks. How can you beat it? If you were to send this out and have it chromed, not only is it probably already garbage and you'll have to find something perfect to have it chromed, no one's going to know. Looks like chrome, right? Got my column drop. Everything's just kind of sitting here. The dash is bolted in, but all the gauges are sitting there. So I don't want to mess with the, ga the gauges or the dash right now. I just want to get this in place, make sure the length was good. What I'm going to do now is... I'm gonna get this bell adhered or some type of adhesive or like a, a epoxy or even like an RTB silicone. Uh, probably gonna get that. I'll get that done real quick and that's gonna be it. That'll be, uh, that'll be done until I'll let that set up. And then before we take off to go to the Northeast Auto Expo, I will get the gauges all installed in the car with their, with their uh, like brackets on the back to get them set in the dash. I gotta get the glove box door put on, get the dash itself mounted to the car, get this column drop on, and get the column and the tube and all that stuff put together. So, uh, but that'll happen sometime this coming week before I take off Thursday morning. So I just wanna show you guys, quick little upgrade, 50 bucks, you can't beat it. Uh, yeah, F1, F100, steering column upgrade. Stainless, eBay, check it out. See you guys, take care. Bye.